Good afternoon, students. Myself, Dr. Prabha Granth. Before going to the topic, let me brief myself. I've been in the banking industry for the last 21 years, out of which I was with HDFC Bank for about nine years as a branch manager, and uh, seven to eight years with ICC Bank, and a couple of years with ESOP Bank as a cluster head, and a uh, couple of years with uh, UTA Bank as a uh, sales officer. I've been handled from all the liability assets and all different kinds of uh, products and little, little branch banking. So, so today we'll discuss about the vault operations, the do's and don'ts, and the primarily an operational area. So as a prudent banker, that you take care of it. So we'll be covering the following topics today. Vault operations, cash deposit, handling of currency note, cash payment, and non-cash transaction. So we all know that. So vault operation is very important in the branch banking, especially the person who are the custodians of the bank, the teller and the authorizer. So they will be the primary custodian of the bank. So the vault operation is primarily very much important and we have to follow the process without any deviation. So this is the basic expectations and cash deposit. So that is very important since we are handling public money. So we have to be follow all the process laid down in cash deposit and handling of currency note. So we'll be getting large cash on uh, by the customer, I mean depositing in the branch. So we have to ensure that the notes are quality and we have to follow the RBA clean note policy. We'll discuss about RBA clean note policy later and we'll be discussing about cash payment. Cash payment primarily on the check withdrawal, whether it's a bearer, unknown bearer, customer. So we'll be discussing that also and non-cash transaction. Non-cash transaction primarily that includes your fund transfer, your demand draft, your RTGS and NEFT. This all comes under non-cash non transaction. So if you look at, so these are the core branch banking activities, okay? So earlier, some 10 to 15 years back, so most of the things are under non-digitalization, okay? So customer will be primarily depending on the, the uh, outlet, the banking outlet. Now, things have changed. Uh, uh, I mean, digitalization has come into picture. So we can do the most of the transaction, especially the non-cash transaction, and uh, other service requests through uh, digital banking itself. It can be done through internet banking and uh, through mobile banking. So all this can be done. So for that, as a banker, we have to educate the customer. We have to handhold the customer accordingly. So only then, customer also feel happy and, and enjoy the uh, our bank service. You know well, HDFC Bank is the top bank in India, so we are growing fast and we are one of the lar fourth largest bank in the world. So our service has to be at par with the international standards. We always look for, our products are quite innovative and with the technology supported. So we are the market leaders in so many products. So customer also will have the such expectations from, uh, from all our bank officials like us. So as a frontliner, as a frontliner, and since we are handling customer service, we have to ensure that the customer service is delivered as per the bank's expectation. Fine. So these are the basic expectations and the standard that we look for as a banker. So these are the topics we'll be covering and so we'll, we'll discuss one by one. Vault operations. We'll discuss about the do's and don'ts. Yeah. So there will be two set of keys will be there. One will be handled by the your teller customer care executive and another will be the your authorizer. Primarily will be the authorizer. He'll be handling the wall keys. So at any point of time, no one should handle both the keys. That is the primary expectation. So password sharing, this key exchange, these are all the biggest crime and it should not be done at any point of time. So the bank trusts you. So obviously we have to follow the guidelines laid for that. Let's start with the case study. Here we can see that Nilesh and Ram are all students at MG Road branch. Nilesh is running late today and has reached the branch at 9.20 a.m. While he and Ram get, get to the vault, Ram gets a call from one of its Imperia customer. As it's getting late, Nilesh takes Ram's key and op op operates the vault. While Ram is right beside him on the phone, is it allowed? No, because key sharing is not allowed as per our process. So as I told you, we have to ensure that the custodian has to hold the key and only they have to open the vault. So that is a bank laid down process. 
at any point of time, under any circumstances, no exchange of key to the other custodians so should not be done. So if, if, if at all it happens, then it is the biggest uh, uh, process uh, lapses and suitable action will follow accordingly. So never ever compromise on this process. You can be your friend, you can be your colleague, you can be your bestie, you can be your roommate. But however, when it comes to the bank, bank trust on you and you have to follow the process on this key, key movement, right? So next quiz is Rakesh has joined a branch in April 23 and is a new welcome desk. He is one of the custodians of the FRFC at your branch and has forgot to carry a set of keys home today. Is this fine? No. So as I said, we are handling the customer's money and customer, we have to deliver the customer service. So obviously, what is FRFC? It is fire resistant filing cabinet. Okay, so all the important documents, unprocessed instructions, so all those will be kept in the FRFC. So definitely, as a custodian, we have to take the keys when we are going to office. If it is a mistake, then obviously it is, it is not tolerable because it spoils the customer time and it delivers and we cannot satisfy the customer service. So the answer is no. This is the third quiz we'll be discussing about. Nikita and Rekha are all custodians. Nikita is all excited as she is going on annual leave. She is eager to hand over the keys to someone in the branch. She suggests that Rekha hand, hand the keys as some, she comes yearly to the branch. Is this allowed? Since both are all custodians, can, we, can they exchange the keys? Definitely no. However close they are, however the reason can be, if one person is handling the keys, it should not be hand out the keys to the same person. So it is also the biggest process lapse and it is not allowed. Probably he can give the keys to some other official with BM approval and it has to be recorded in the key memo register. So only that is allowed. It cannot be, the keys cannot be handed to the same person who is handling other set of keys. So the answer is no and this process is not allowed. This is very important. So our bank time starts at 9 o'clock. At some branches it can be 9.30. So I must take cash out from the wall 10 to 15 minutes prior to the beginning of business hours. So it is very true. Answer is yes. So before the customer, yeah. So before the customer service happens, we have to be ready. So which means ideally, if it is 9.30 is the customer service time, the desk should be ready by 9.15. So by the time your system should be on, your cash counting machine should be worked on, and your uh, dual display counting machine should be uh, working properly and your uh, daily display rates, your forex rate and other rates to be dis updated and along with other custodians, you have to bring the cash from the wall to counter and the proper ROE and all other things has to be done properly. So by all means, before 15 minutes of the business hours, the desk should be completely ready for the service the customers. So the answer is yes. Yeah, here comes the one more quiz. So from all these quiz, the banking process is explained clearly. Okay, that's the purpose of all these quizzes. Okay, so we can learn with examples. We can learn with practical uh, case studies. So Karan is a neutral in the branch and it has been just over a month that he has taken over the role. He has opened the vault at the beginning of the day and realized that there is 9.86 lakhs. You want to take the entire cash out from the vault at the beginning of the day, is okay? So generally the first transaction, we prefer to, to take lesser amount of cash, okay? So we always have, a, a follow a, I mean, lower uh, kind of cash movement from the first entry. It can be lesser 5 lakhs also. So that is only suggested. So later on, based on requirement, we can take the additional cash from the vault, okay? So uh, as a process to be followed is, we should not take the higher cash and a proper ROI to be filled and it has to be kept over The answer is no, as, as we discussed. Yeah. Here comes the one more case study. Mr. Raj, an Imperial customer of RM Santanu, is coming to the branch for huge cash withdrawal. I'm sorry, sir. Santanu is all excited as the customer has also promised to sign up for some products today. He is eager to have the entire transaction done smoothly and some instructions for me. 
as i am in the process of opening the vault i asked santanu to accompany me to the vault along with other custodian give him, give me a chance to finish this conversation is it right so generally we will be very happy if any of our hna customers or the imperia customers we all know what it imperia customer no uh, naturalist bank we have three different kind of uh, program one is classic another one is preferred the, the highest one is imperia so obviously imperia customer will have the higher balances in the account and definitely he will give a large business if the service satisfied so definitely when such a imperia customer is coming to the branch for cash withdrawal so we all will be excited right since we can do kind some kind of uh, cross selling and get some good business so that enthusiasm is fine but not at the cost of process deviation or missing out process okay we cannot take the person to the vault okay it is not allowed uh, uh, inside the vault only the custodians are allowed so no other persons are allowed it is completely prohibited so we have to ensure that so in the kind of sales motive or with some enthusiasm we should not miss out the process so let's be clear that the process is followed clearly even though when such uh, a potential coming customer is coming to the branch and that doesn't mean that we have to miss the process so never ever do that so the answer is no yeah one more interesting question the vault is a safest place the branch hence it is okay to keep any item pertaining to branch for safe custody in the vault i need to take only verbal approval of the branch manager for doing so definitely vault is a safest item for customers customer cash the cash deposit and the what is that the jewel packets and the deliverables so all those can be kept but we cannot keep our personal belongings or any other items inside the vault that is not permitted okay and moreover we maintain a vault register so what are the contents that we are keeping in the vault so that will be recorded and the custodians will be signing okay so it is not allowed and we have to keep only the allowed items like our cash deliverables and our rubber stamp our roe and your locker documents so all those can can be kept in the vault the duplicate keys put into the vault are kept in a sealed condition at a branch closest to mine i must exchange the same with ones being used in the branch periodically yeah so normally we will have a two set of keys okay we will have keys for teller we will be keys having for uh, what the welcome desk we will be key, have keys for vault so all those keys will have two set of keys will be there so one will be will be using at the branch another will, will be keeping at the nearest hdfc bank if hdfc bank is not there we will have we'll take approvals and we'll keep it in any other national state banks okay and every 6 months we have to uh, exchange these keys uh, the set of keys and we have to uh, record it in the register so this process has to be followed and without any deviation so periodically we have to follow the process the answer is yes my branch has a big vault very big vault since i have enough space i can store up to 3 crores in cash at the branch without any approvals the answer is let me explain so every branch will have a, a limit called crl so what is a crl cash retention limit okay so every branch will have a crl limit and so we have to keep the cash only up to that limit the purpose is so insurance coverage will be given only to that limit for example our branch crl limit is 10 lakhs if anything happens like fire or, or theft anything happens if you keep by the time 50 lakhs we will not getting any kind of coverage okay so so that's a, that's the reason and moreover what are the extra money that we are keeping in the vault so we will not get any interest and it is idle money so for considering all these factors we have to ensure that we maintain the cash in the vault within our crl limit so what are the extra cash that is av- available we can offload to our nearest currency chest so that is a process we have to follow and the, since it is a large vault we have we should avoid that keeping large caches inside the vault fine so the answer is no so we should not keep large cash inside the vault and we have to keep only the up to the permissible crl limit so we discuss about the 
basic vault operations that a teller, authorizer, and the backup custodians, they have to follow in the branch. So we discussed about the do's and don'ts of vault operations, okay? I'll summarize the key points. The counter, the counter to be opened 15 minutes before the commencement of business hours. That is, that, that is very important. And number two point is, never and ever don't exchange your keys to your colleagues. That is very important. If, if at all, if you are going on leave or emergencies, we have to hand over the keys to the backup custodian with our BM approval. So that is important. So don't compromise on key, keys. And moreover, any uh, due to any, uh, any H&A customer receipt or due to some sales enthusiasm, don't deviate process. Other than the custodians, no other persons is not allowed inside the vault. So that is one important parameter. And fourth one is, other than the allowed items, like your cash, deliverables, and your uh, jewel loan packet, locker operations, and locker keys, only those items are allowed inside the vault. No other items can be allowed inside the vault. One more thing is, two set of keys will be there. One keys will be using, the other set of keys will be put in a sealed cover, where the uh, authorized uh, official will be keeping in the nearest HDFC bank. Okay, so we have to periodically exchange the keys. And, and for next, the, the final point is CRL limit. Okay, every branch will have a CRL limit, so we have to maintain the cash within the CRL limit. Excess cash we have to offload to the currency chest. So I, I hope I had covered all the basic operations in Vault. So any doubt, you can very well ask me. I'm here to help you with the process proper clarifications. So next topic, we'll be discussing more on operation areas, especially on currency notes, how to identify fake note. So all those things we'll be discussing about. Thank you.